we've released a new feature for the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress that makes it easier than ever before to create professionally designed content quickly. You can now use content blocks that are pre-designed and that you can mix and match in whichever way you want and that you can quickly customize to suit your needs. The main benefit of this new set of features is that you can build better looking stuff faster with fewer editing steps. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to use content blocks. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from Thrive Themes, and let me jump right onto a website so we can look at what content blocks do together. So when you load a page or a blog post in Thrive Architect and you add an element, you'll see at the top here a new choice of adding a content block. So let's drop a content block in here. And here you'll see a gallery from which you can choose from our many pre-designed content blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this product review list and insert that into the content to demonstrate a few things. There's three important things you need to know about how content blocks work to get the most out of this feature. Number one, as you'll see, content blocks are designed to automatically inherit the font styles and typography from your theme. So as you can see, I've inserted this content block here and the text that was already on my page, which comes from the theme, the content block is using the same headings, the same text, the same text color and so on, so that the content block is basically designed to blend in to my existing blog post or to my existing page. Of course, you can go in and edit those and change those fonts if you want, but by default, all content blocks are designed to seamlessly work and inherit the typography of the page that they're already on. Number two, you can very quickly edit the colors of anything in a content block. And you can do that when you drop the content block, you'll see that the content block is selected and you have in your main options all the colors being used inside this block. At any point later, if you've selected anything on the page, you can always find this again in the breadcrumbs. You'll see that the base element here is called content block. So if I select that, I can quickly change the colors of everything that this content block contains. For example, you can see here we have one blue accent color and I can just click on this color picker right here and I can change that and you know replace that with maybe one of my branded colors. This also works with my global colors and shared colors and I can quickly apply that. And as you can see, it applies my new color to all of the elements that previously had the blue color. And so with this color picker right here in the main options, you can very quickly make changes that will customize the look of this content block to match your site. And number three, one of the features that makes content blocks super powerful is that we have applied group editing to everything inside a content block. So for example, if I click on this image, you can see that it is part of a group right here with this lock symbol. And you can see that there's a dotted outline around the other image that is in the second list item. And if I choose to make a style change here, so let's say I want this to be rounded, then it will apply that change to both. Same goes for, let's say I choose these, this star rating. If I change the size, it will change the size of all the star ratings in the list. And it does so intelligently because if I make a change to the size, then it makes sense that it changes everywhere. But if I change the rating itself, for example, then of course I'm only affecting the one I'm currently selecting. These group editing changes even apply to new elements I add. So we have in this content block a list of two. What if I want more? Of course, I can just select one of the list items and duplicate it. And it basically creates a perfect third list item in the same style. I can make a couple of changes to this, maybe change the image here, and I'll quickly have a third list item that I can customize. But once again, if I choose something in here, this was automatically grouped with the other list items. So if I change this title size, that is linked. If I change the color of the button, for example, that will also be linked and so on, right? You get the idea. So the linking applies not only to the elements that are initially in the content block, but also if you duplicate elements within the content block, those will also be linked together. And if you're familiar with how group editing works in Thrive Architect, then you'll already be familiar with how this next thing works. 
which is that while these elements are grouped by default, you can also choose to unlink individual items. For example, in my list here, maybe I want to highlight the first element, my top rated review. So I choose this label right here and I click on this lock to unlink it from the group. Now I can make a change. Let's say I want to change the color to make this one stand out more. And as you can see, I'm only affecting the one unlinked item. Plus I can even relink it back to the group. And if I make a change to the group other than the background color, so other than the exception I made for this one, so let's say I change the height of these, it will also affect all of them, all of the grouped items together again. So with these features, that gives you enormous flexibility to create content very quickly using content blocks and to customize everything about a content block very quickly without having to do the same editing steps over and over again. So you don't have to like copy paste styles from one element to another or you know, click on a button, change the color, click on the other button, change the color and so on. Plus all of this works together, of course, with saved colors and global colors. So you can easily drop a content block on a page and link it up to your global site-wide color palette. Now I've shown you all this using just a single content block as an example, but as you saw before, there's a wide choice of different content blocks. And you can see this gallery as soon as you drop the element on your page. Right here, you can simply scroll through the list to see the different content blocks, and you can even preview individual blocks before you decide whether to insert them in your page or not. And we've also added filtering options so that you can favorite content blocks that you wanna use frequently, and you'll be able to find them in here. And we've also categorized them. So for example, we have product review related blocks, we have podcast related blocks, and we have further ways to categorize to help you find exactly what you're looking for very quickly in this overview. Of course, all the content blocks are fully responsive and mobile optimized as well. Content blocks are available right now in the latest version of Thrive Architect. And what you'll find is a set of content blocks that are especially made for blog posts. So we've created a first set of content blocks with the main purpose of helping you create great high quality blog content faster. And that's why we have things like, for example, all these different product review elements. If you wanna write product reviews, you now have things like review summaries and top lists and things like that that you can very quickly add to your content to enrich in your reviews. This is just our first set of content blocks and we will be developing more content blocks for different purposes and different use cases and you'll be able to access them through Thrive Architect in the future as well. And this is where you can help us out right now. You can tell us by leaving a comment below what are the kinds of content blocks that you would like to use. What are your use cases and what type of content blocks would really help you build a better website faster and build better content. Let us know by leaving a comment below and you'll help us make the perfect content blocks for you in the future.